Hi, this is Marilyn Day, instructional designer, back again with some Evolve advanced techniques that you can use to level up your e-learning development skills. So in the first video, we went over the basic video, uh, the, excuse me, in the first video, we went over the basic building blocks of Evolve. So hopefully you've got that down. And now I want to show you a few advanced features. So you will notice on our back end, I've already built uh, something that we can play around with. And you'll remember from the last video, we can do a quick preview here to take a look at what it looks like, or we can do a live preview in a new tab or a new window. Um, so the first uh, uh, advanced feature that I wanna go over is variables. So I'm sure you're familiar with these if you've used Articulate um, in any capacity. So you can have a, a user input a variable and save it, right? So you'll just, you'll see that that name changes. Again, I'm going to use the name of one of my cats, um, right? If if he was taking this training, um, it's that variable can change. Um, so you don't have to give them the option to edit the answer. I just wanted to show you what that looks like. Um, in terms of triggers, I want to show you uh, a, something else you can do that helps you gate content. So there's a lot that you could do with triggers. They're very complex, um, but just to give you some basics, you can have it be so that when a user completes a component, um, it shows some hidden articles, right? So they can unlock the rest of the content in the course. Um, so what that looks like here on the back end, you navigate to logic and you create your trigger. You create your event. Um, what's the component? In this case, it's that tabs interaction. And then we're going to show the hidden article infographics. So um, there's an image of that uh, in this tab as well. Um, so you'll notice right now there's just the footer navigation. But when I click on tab two, um, this is going to show me more information about the rest of the course. So that's a really great way to gate content. I use it pretty much in all of my courses, um, but you can have, you let your imagination run wild. You can use triggers in a wide variety of ways. And especially when you mix them with variables, you can have a lot of fun. Um, so now I'm going to show you the infographic feature. This is a really cool interactive uh, component that Evolve has. It's very flexible and it gives you a lot of control over what your learners do. Um, so just to give you a comparison and so you can check out another Evolve component type. Um, this is a mock-up that I made in Canva of what I wanted my infographic to look like. And here's the background that I loaded into Evolve for the infographic. So you can see there's just, there's not much there, right? It's a very basic, um, everything else I built in Evolve. So if we take a look at this infographic, um, this is what it looks like on the front end. You've got some animations, you've got some hover um, on each button. Um, and you've got basically, looks the same as what I created in Canva, right? Maybe some minor differences. So some of the benefits here is that all this text is, is hard coded into Evolve. So if anyone's gonna translate the course or if they're using a screen reader, um, this text isn't lost, it's right there for people to access. So that is um, a great benefit of this component. Um, it also scales the text size when it gets enlarged, which again can be helpful for accessibility, um, especially if you're using some smaller uh, smaller font sizes on the main page. Um, so let's take a look at what that looks like under the hood. Um, and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how you can do a reset feature for your infographic. So again, here's your, uh, here's my article. Here's my infographic block and my infographic component. And you can see this lightning bolt. That means they've got some logic set up here as well that shows additional content once this is complete. Um, so here's where you upload your image. Again, you can see it's that very basic background. And then you open your infographic editor and this is where all the magic happens. So 
you can pull up your list of items um, and you can create, um, double click on that. You can create detailed uh, interactions here, right? You can add the colored background, you can make it a round button, you can add in images. So again, really let your imagination go wild. Um, you'll notice it looks a little different on here than it does for the end user, and that's okay. That's why I recommend using that live preview to take a look at what it looks like. So I'm gonna rename this um, just for myself. You'll notice that changed here where it says common evolved components. Now it says title. So now um, I know what that is next time I come back here. So let's add in an item. So it just starts you with a basic, here's just a basic square. And I know this is gonna be a reset. So let's rename that. Um, and let's put text reset. Um, nothing fancy, um, but you could make a little arrow button uh -huh, or whatever you would like to do. Um, so I'm going to set this to interactive. And then um, down here, down at the bottom is your interaction types. So a tool tip is just going to show up um, it's just going to show up when somebody clicks on it. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Um, oh, let me go down to it. So there's a tooltip, right? That's what your tooltip is going to look like. Um, you can also have it navigate to different links. So you could use the infographic to create maybe your menu. Um, so there's, again, a lot of things that you can do. Show or hide items. That's how I created this infographic. Somebody clicks on this hotspot, it shows this text, um, it changes it from hidden to visible, and it triggers the animation. Um, so you can, again, click uh, what you want it to show and what you want it to hide. Um, that can be really great when you're making flowcharts. So for now, we're just gonna do reset infographic. Um, and then to see what this looks like, one more time. So I'm going to click a couple and then maybe I want to restart it. So just reset. It just takes you right back to the beginning. So again, that, that can be a nice feature when you want people to be able to go through maybe a flow chart and get different, uh, come up with different pieces at the end. Um, so that is your infographic component. Um, I want to show you one more really cool variable. If you just hang with me, hang tight for a sec. So if I come all the way to the beginning of my course, um, there's a confidence slider that saves as a variable. So how confident are you trying out Evolve as a tool? Um, let's go through to the next page. Just put in my name for fun. Um, and then let me go through and make sure I complete everything to get me to the end of the course. So you'll notice it pulls my name here because you can reuse those variables as much as you'd like. Um, and you've got now selected currently is two. Previously selected was also two. So now I can change my mind and say I'm feeling more confident. Um, and then you can tailor this feedback. So uh, again, just another question type that works with the variables and everything that we've gone over so far in this video. Um, I hope this is helpful. As always, let me know if you have any questions, more than happy to hear from you. And I'd love to see what you make and evolve. Take care.